don't know what I did to make everybody I don't know what I did to make everybody everybody I don't know what I did to make everybody everybody I don't know what I did to make everybody I don't know what I did to make everybody hate me. Oh, nigga, hey, Chris. The slip of my tongue, trick the finger for fun. You know I got this trick finger, man. They know how we do it on the heat. What's up, what's up? If they come, it's the Kegel. He ain't waffles and bagels. What's up, Kegel? Don't even worry about that stuff. I would say I'm, I'm the last man standing, you know. Um, I won't just say out of my friends, but I say out of my friends that robbed, you know, that ran the, the thug of the street, not just like the money makers and stuff, you know, like ran the hardcore life in the streets as myself, man. Um, I mean, I, I survived those six shots. You know, the, 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 the fake <laughs> suicide attempts. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, you know, my friends, they, 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 you know, they didn't make it. And, you know, you had Quelo that died, you know, the way that he died. Told y'all that story. Um, my partner, my partner Otis, he went back home and, uh, cause he kept getting in trouble. He was staying with little Tony's mother and little Tony, but he went back home and something happened and he got shot. He paralyzed now in a, in a wheelchair. I'll be talking to him and stuff. What's up, OD? Um, of course, you know, little Tony, little Tony just got locked up. Um, I, you know, I talked to my little big brother not too long ago. You got to call me, shout if you looking at this, man. But yeah, Latona was like the last one out here with me, really. And uh, now he locked up. But, you know, looking pretty good for him, though, you know. I see him soon. Sure. I mean, you got Popeye. Of course, everybody know Popeye. Popeye, uh, on, a, on a good note, Popeye is up for parole this year. You know what I'm saying? They say he couldn't have parole. He he would be eligible for parole until he do until he do 30 years in prison. You know what I'm saying? And when that little incident happened, me and him was 17. Yeah, we had just turned 17, and you know he been gone. That's how long he been gone, man. I'm 47, y'all. He 47, y'all. Like real talk. So you know, ah, oh, that's crazy. He got. They gave Popeye um, three life sentences plus 30 years. You know what I'm saying? But that was up under that was, but that was up under the old law, you know what I'm saying? When you know everybody know life is life, but you're eligible for parole. After seven years back in the day, then it went to 14, and now it's like 32 years before they, um, you're eligible for parole up on a life sentence. Doesn't mean you're going to get out, you're just eligible. They'll, you know, look at your paperwork. Um, but yeah, he's, he's eligible. Papa is eligible this year. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got OG, um, Taylor here. Um, uh, I talked to him about two weeks ago and I finally realized it is him. I was thinking it was somebody faking me on Facebook. You know how they be. Send me twenty dollar cash out, stuff like that. Um Tater here, you know, he he gone down for a murder for killing a cab driver. So, you know, bang, he gone. Um partner Montrees, you know, he died. You know, they say he was playing with the gun, shot himself in the head. Whew. Man. James, little Jane, Don Terry, little partner, used to be around uh, James, who, you know, at, at the College Park reunion, he was on the back of a truck 
with Quelo, my friend, his little brother. Quelo's dead, but he had a little brother. His little brother driving a truck was a little intoxicated and wrecked the truck. And my partner was on the back of it. Then they said he tried to jump off, and he did. But the truck, you know, caught up with him and rolled rolled over him a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I mean, man, I can say, I can't say that for as me being the last one standing, man. You know, there was a that there was a lot of risk that we had took. A lot of risks we had took, sense, senseless things that we was doing that could have easily caused, you know, somebody's life or, or caused our lives as well. And um, and a lot of my friends paid the price, you know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, my little brother, my little brother murdered, gone, bam. Shoot, boy. I'm telling you, and, and the thing is, man, um, all this death and all these murders, the you know, this this happened out in College Park, man. You know, um, um, yellow boy, yellow boy, little cousin, cot, one of my little partners, man, I grew up with, man. Um, he, you know, he came from this, you know, suburban hood, you know what I'm saying, and um. His family was just in the projects. The yellow boy them or, or whatever. And um he he you know he was dating two girls and they was in the same building, you know. And the main girl, he, you know, they got into an argument and you know, he's like, Man, I'm finna leave you. He was eating some ice cream. He was like, I'm finna leave you and he was finna leave out the door and go right across the hall to the other girl house. And the girl shot him in the back of the head, man. Kill him. He still went the window when the coroner got him. Man, he still had ice cream in his throat, man. And what's crazy is the police come. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't have find no um evidence of forced entry. My little partner was tied up with the uh, um PlayStation cord and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a robbery. They locked the girl up, but then somehow doing you know court or whatever one one of them appearances. She told the judge, you know, told them that uh, she know the person that killed them, but she's scared for her life. And, you know, they end up letting her go, man. And right now to this day, they ain't, they ain't found the killer who killed Lil' Cot. You know what I'm saying? Right on the 4900 block. Uh, right after my brother died, Lil' Doc, Lil' Doc um, got shot just on some two other guys getting into an argument. Um, Doc, Doc, brother-in-law, and some guys get into an argument. J. Rock them from Guyby Road. So the forty-nine hundred block dude get into it with little homie them be on Guyby Road, and the Guyby Road homie come back down to the forty-nine hundred block. Him and some partner and drive by shooting, and they shoot my little partner Doc, who just so happened to be standing out there. Shoot him, kill him right off the rip. Shoot him with an AK, kill him. He he deal a he dead in the middle of the street. Everybody see him. His penis swell up. It man, it's like all type of man for real, man. Um, his his old one of his older brothers died. You know, maybe ten years after that, just from cancer. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> I got a little cousin on father's side. She she dated um. One of my partners that was with Waka Flocka, Kibo Gotti. She dated Kibo Gotti, little brother, Lil D. That used to be on the hill talk with us. I told y'all the story about Lil D as well. Um, and um, she ended up having a baby by him. And, you know, he he had some word with some dudes up in Atlanta. And he leaving from his mama house, got the baby at the bus stop. Dudes come by, shoot him up with the baby in the arm. And they say he turned. So the so my little cousin, which is his, his baby, so she wouldn't get um shot. And they you know they shot him about seven, eight times, man. They said when they got the baby out of the arms and he laid down as he laid down and dead, they say um the, the the bullets was hot. They was burning his organs. The smoke was coming out of his mouth and his nose. There was so many bullets in him, man. So you know. Little, little, little Quint, little boy about 15 years old in College Park, getting 
get some dust in his really hair run and he go to sleep and it busts it hard and they come find him with blood and stuff coming out his ears. Like, is you know what I'm saying? It was it was all around us, man, and it's by Jehovah God's grace that like I'm still here. You know, to tell y'all and just to to um testify to to anybody really on that lifestyle and living that lifestyle, everybody don't have my you know the chances I, I have. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see that my little brother didn't have the same chances that I have. You know what I'm saying? So everybody outcome is gonna be different. And, you know, if if you think, you know, getting into the game, you know, doing, you know, doing, you know, getting into the streets and hustling, if you're thinking that right now and it's 2004, I would advise you, like, to to reevaluate your life. You know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't nothing about the streets and the way I live that was fun. And that's why I hate, you know, like, in the early time, you know, like, you know, um, DTP and Ludacris and how they was rapping about disturbing the peace and, you know, like that. And, you know, that, you know, that's, that wasn't that MO. It was like, you know, the, the you know, the stuff that they uh, uh, say real quick because they went so much on it, but they'll say some little stuff when they went their life and the, the stuff that they mentioned, it, you know, it, it's my life. It's, it's, you know, all of who live this type of life. And that offended me. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't act like my life because my life, I lost a brother back here. And, you know, so don't get on no record talking about you'll do this and this, how y'all rock and this, how y'all rock when y'all don't rock like that. It's us who rock like that. And, you know, it's because we out here. You know what I'm saying, man? So, <clears throat> you know, I don't lost a lot. You know, I told y'all about Dino. You know, our friend Dino running from the police. They could never catch him. And when they finally caught him, they shoot him in the back of the neck somewhere. He did. You know what I'm saying? My cousin Robin. Um, um, just thinking about it. My little cousin Robin on my mama's side. She have um, she have like three kids. Um, the first baby father, he was killed by East Point police. They thought he was somebody out there selling drugs. They chase him. He take off running because you know, we front of the street. And he probably had something on him, but they hit him with the car, and the car run him over, and the car is still on his chest, like the tire. One of my partner named Julio Black had to tell the cop, "Man, move you! You still on him?" They get him handcuffed, put him in a police car. He he started convulsing, and he, he died. Ain't no ambulance in there. He ain't no dying. She had a son by him already, and he had to grow up without a father. So, you know, three, four years after that, she dating somebody else, another little dude I know from the hood named Lil Two. She have two kids by him. He leaving out of 4,900 block. This was just a year and a half ago, y'all. He leaving out of 4,900 block, finna go back to the hotel where he's staying at at the time or finna, you know, or whatever. And he stopped at the stop sign, little boy way. Okay. And as he pull out, uh, Cobb County police officer, is on a high speed chase with somebody, a car thief or a robber or whatever. And he done came through two, three different cities across two, three different counties coming down Highway 29 in College Park. And the, the, the actually it was the Georgia State Patrol, I think. No, no, it was Cobb County. It was Cobb County. Um, um, they come straight down and as he pulling out, making a left, Onto the street, they smash right into him. Flip his car on over outside the street, over to the railroad track. That's a second child, children's father that is dead and was killed by a cop in a car. Man, I'm talking about, I'm talking about girls, you know. I, I don't lost girlfriends that I grew up with. Rosalind, you know, she died. You know, we don't. I don't even know how she died, y'all. You know, something the family don't let out. You know, things of that nature. Just know that she she just died. 
you know, she, I didn't feel sick or nothing, you know. It be happening, man, real talk, man. It be happening, man. It just, you know, chill rock, chill rock, die. This is this is a, a lady friend of ours in College Park. And you know, like when I say lady friend, you no, know, she she when I say these, these people the name they know they from the streets, man, you know. Like Chill Rock, she was a booster. You know what I'm saying? She'd go in the mall and you know, she put the the lumen fall in the bag, y'all know how, and they don't go off. You no, know, they take the little the ink things off all that. These street hustlers, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean Last standing, man. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta make it well worth it, you know? Thank y'all for tuning in to another great episode of Underground Source TV, man. Before I leave, I wanna say, man, cherish each, cherish each day. Cherish each day that you have with your loved one, with yourself, with your God, Jehovah. Thank you. And I thank you for tuning in to another great episode of Underground Source TV with your host, TV and film producer, Dontre Schnarks. OG Black Boy, 3700 College Park, stand up. I don't know what I did to make everybody angry. Everybody angry. I don't know what I did to make everybody angry. Everybody angry. I don't know what I did to make everybody angry. Everybody angry. I don't know what I did. Everybody, hey, don't niggas hate trees. I don't know what I did to make everybody hate trees. Don't niggas hate trees. The slip of my tongue, trick a finger for fun. You know I got this trick of finger, man. They know how we do it on the heat. What's up? What's up? Is it coming to Kegel? Eating waffles and bagels. What's up? Kegel don't need to worry about them.